Hey everybody, Pat Spielman here, founder at Uptix. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to warm up your email domain before doing any sort of cold email outreach. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through a step-by-step -step guide and tutorial on exactly how to do it with two different methodologies. Now, since you're watching this video, you're probably either a complete rookie, you have no idea what email warming is, I'm gonna explain that. Or maybe you've had problems with deliverability in the past and you wanna solve it using the best ways possible. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video really, really easily. But ultimately, our goal is to avoid the spam filters and land your money-making emails in the primary inbox inside of Google, inside of Outlook, or whatever email client provider your recipients are using, all right? So let's get started. Before I show you exactly how to do this, let's, uh, just in case you're not familiar with what email warmup is, basically what it is, it's a process of gradually increasing your email sends over a period of time for from your existing domain, your existing inboxes, or maybe even you have a new domain, a new company, or you're adding domains and you're adding inboxes, right? So what you wanna do is gradually increase your email volume in your sending to establish a sending reputation with the email client providers, Google, Outlook, so on and so forth, so that they look at you like a reputable email sender. When you're starting off sending emails, you don't really have a sending reputation. Right, or maybe you've burnt a domain and you want to you want to revive it. You can do that with email warmup. Um, one of the biggest things that that I suggest with any sort of uh, sales or marketing strategy, you're probably looking at warmup right from a sales and marketing perspective. And one of the biggest things that I suggest you take consider doing is a concept called multi inbox domain sending. Okay, so if you want really good deliverability and you want to mitigate the risk of your sales or marketing emails landing in the spam folder you're gonna to wanna to consider using multiple domains to send your sales and your marketing emails from. Multiple domains, multiple inboxes. When you send from a single domain, it is really risky. So if you experience deliverability problems with one inbox or one domain, it can have a trickle down effect, right? To your entire domain, you can have bad deliverability. And when your emails don't get seen, you're not gonna get any traction or results with your sales or your marketing. Okay, so using a multi inbox domain strategy can mitigate your risk. And what this kind of looks like, um, instead of sending all of your leads, emails from one inbox, one domain, so on and so forth, you would split the traffic into several domains, call it three domains, right? So, um, and you want to limit your sending volume between um, each of those domains. So we'll call it 100 emails a day per domain, right? You spread that traffic over uh, three domains instead of one, and then spread that sending traffic from not just one domain, but several inboxes, inbox one, inbox two, inbox three. Now pretty soon you're sending from three inboxes and one domain, three from a second, three from a third. So you're reducing your chances of landing in spam or experiencing deliverability problems with one domain uh, if you're using multiple, okay? All right, so keeping your volume low for every domain, every inbox is a big trigger and big indicator um, to help you reduce your emails landing in spam. But the downside of this, of course, by having a multi-domain, multi-inbox strategy is the fact that you don't have a sending reputation, okay? So when you first set up that domain, you have no sending reputation whatsoever. And in order to build up a good sending reputation, you have to start by sending a small amount of emails and gradually increasing your volume over the course of time in order to uh, start establishing that sending reputation with the email client providers, okay? Now, sending high quality emails improves that deliverability. It helps ensure your emails are more likely to land in the inbox and less likely to be flagged as spam or automatically added into the spam folder because the email client providers are always trying to get smarter and smarter with their, their algorithms and they're trying to auto filter emails, okay? So this is why we need to, to warm things up. Hey, if you're getting a ton of value from the video, I'd love if you'd like the video, consider subscribing to the channel so you can alert anytime we launch a new video such as this or anything about cold email or sales outreach whatsoever. Now back to the video. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. All right, there's a couple different warm-up methods that you can use, primarily two, of course. Uh, of course, there, there's a manual warming method and then an automated. First, I'm gonna um, tell you a little bit about the manual methods, the pros and cons, and then the steps you can do to, to do it successfully. Right, so the pros um, are that there's less risk in doing that manually, and it's more organic to do it manually, okay? The cons are it takes a lot of effort, it's slow, and it doesn't scale really fast. So um, if you need to get you know more emails launched sooner, it's not really a great way to, to set it up, right? Um, but it's a little bit less risky. Here's the steps you would wanna go through if you wanna do a manual uh, warm-up method. First of all, 
you need to have a list of recipients. Could be a lead list, could be a list of friends, could be a list of family, could be uh, a list of people inside of your company. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna send emails every single day to that list. And you wanna make sure those people are interacting with your emails, opening, replying. If you land in spam, you're removed from, from spam, okay? And over the course of time, you wanna gradually increase the number of emails that you're sending. Okay, so your, your list, you might start out just sending a few emails a day, and then gradually you increase it a few more, a few more, a few more, and eventually get up to the point where you're sending hundreds a day, okay? Uh, but this is ultimately gonna take you a few weeks, a few months, okay, to gradually increase your sending. And you wanna be selective about the recipients. You don't wanna go online and find just like a bunch of random emails from from people. Um, you know, the, the, the recipient list actually matters in terms of who you're sending to. If you're sending emails to a bunch of spammers, you know, that's going to set off red flags with the email client provider. So you want to really focus on the quality of people that you're sending emails to. And then you want to monitor your sending reputation and deliverability. And you can use a system like uh, Glock apps or return path to monitor the sending reputation of, um, of each of your domains. Also, if you're using Google, you could use Google Postmaster tools, you know, to, to sort of manage your, your spam rates and, and all kind of stuff. And then you want to use, a, in terms of managing your sending, you want to use a reputable email um, service provider, such as an Uptix, you know, to, to help you manage um, the sending aspect of it, okay? Big thing here, follow best practices, ensure the high quality um, content of your emails, ensure high quality recipients are in your sending pool, all right? And um, not to get too nerdy on, on the content, make sure the, the formatting of your emails follows best practices, especially if you're doing sales email style emails, okay? Um, pumping your emails full of HTML and all that kind of stuff is gonna have deliverability challenges in and of itself. All right, so now that I've showed you the step-by-step -step way to do manual warm-up, let me talk about automated, which of course everybody loves automated, right? Um, now the pros of automated is you can add a lot of inboxes, you can add a lot of domains, and it's like a lot faster, it's a lot less work. You pretty much don't need to do any of this stuff, okay? It's, it's pretty simple. The cons to it though, are that it's a little bit riskier. The email client providers don't love it. Um, but you know, there's really not a way that they can completely stop it and even if they try to make it harder you know systems and softwares such as uptix are just going to adapt with with the changing times now in order to do automated warming uptix has a product and a service that does you this for you completely on autopilot so let me hop in and show you exactly how this works all right so now i'm in uptix and inside of uptix we have a place where you can manage all of your inboxes i'm not going to go through a full list but basically all you need to do inside of the platform is you click add you add an inbox, you pick which email client provider you're using, you go through the setup wizard, you can set up a signature, you can set up something called a custom tracking domain. And then literally it's a one toggle warm up switch that all you gotta do is turn that on. And then all of a sudden, the system is gonna start sending emails back and forth to other people that are inside of our network, our peer to peer uh, warm up pool of other people who have agreed to send emails to each other and reply. And the system um, automatically sends the emails Okay, it automatically, if it lands in spam, it saves them, it pulls them out of spam, and then it automatically replies to the emails. And it's got a bunch of other uh, flashy features in here too. You can look at all your stats. You've got optional settings, being able to set if you're sending on the weekends, during the day, the time zones, if you're warming up tracking pixels, unsubscribe links, if you wanna warm it up faster, increase reply rates, set your daily sending limits. There's a whole bunch of features in here. But essentially, this handles everything for you on complete autopilot. All right. And unlike other warming products, we have a lot of other features inside of the platform. So you don't have to connect your, your inboxes into one system and then go connect them into another system. Uptix does a lot more. Okay. So that's how you warm up your emails, your inboxes manually or automated. I want to leave you with a few, with a few more resources in case you, you are interested in learning a little bit more about Uptix. It's certainly appreciate it. You can learn a little bit more here. Um, here's a link to our website. We've got a 14 day trial. We've got a whole list of features here. Uptix does a lot and helps you manage all this. We also have a cold email challenge. So if you're, whether you're new or you're advanced, um, we've got a cold email challenge. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, um, you can learn more about that there too. Feel free to click around on these. Also, um, we've got a private university. Okay, um, I've got a bunch of free courses in there for email, uh, cold email, email deliverability, a whole bunch of stuff. And then feel free to join our Facebook group, follow us on YouTube, of course, follow me on LinkedIn, follow me on Twitter for more information like this. If you wanna land in the inbox consistently, get results with cold email or your outbound sales, we're here for you. Hope this video was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.